second aid, this is Captain Uber. This is an anti-armor handmade with bullets exploding for area damage and VATS criticals filling 15% faster. So if you were getting bored of the bloody thing that I've been doing, just testing out what worked uh, previous patch, here's something different. It's an anti-armor handmade, anti-armor explosive, very popular. And anti-armor, since the patch has just destroyed everything in terms of our damage, punching through the armor is actually a viable way of getting your damage up these days. So we'll be utilizing that as well as Tank Killer for superior armor penetration as well as the stinging magazine could go perforating but there's barely any difference i prefer to have the extra ammo capacity and this thing has the uh, blood eagle paint on it it's something that you'd get from uh last season i think and whether it's obtainable now is uh, up for other people to just i don't want to go investigate that got a true barrel and true stock for this thing for hip fire accuracy as well as bumping up that accuracy set in general to make our that efficiency uh I guess accuracy better. We've also got the uh, reflex sights for VATS efficiency. A suppressor is there for sneaking because we're going to do this with a stealth commando approach and I'm just going to ignore those two mutants currently shooting at my house but they I'm getting more annoyed by the day because they just keep showing up and destroying my house and it's annoying. They destroy my generator and it's it's just a pain in the ass to repair because it costs many, many supplies. And we'll chuck on all of the perks. Now we're getting 111 damage. Hey, is that a Fallout 4 reference? Now this will teach you to shoot at my house, you overgrown green piece of shit. There we go. <laughs> that's okay though. Um, I think that's normal. It takes a few shots for the server to sink. So I'm glad that we got that out of our system. Okay, so here we are at I can't think of a witty comment because I Okay, so here we are at the uh, VFSS Commodore testing facility right now They're just doing tests on how much Subarus my new Commodore would shop and I think it's all of them So that's nice. Anyways, let's begin the shooting and that guy's dead. That's helpful now there's something weird going on with explosives. If I go for the torso, it's probably going to be slightly better. For some reason, um, the way explosives works, and uh, I've learned from the comments, is that it casts the explosive like a little bit over where the bullet hits, and that means it's going to whiff the head entirely. I don't know what that's all about, but it seems to be consistent enough using this thing with shooting at the torso, plus we get the that's accuracy bonus from aiming at the torso compared to the head, which usually incurs a small penalty. And man, it's... God. The server performance has been pretty garbage these days. Like, what? what is this? There we go. Finally, finally took him out. Now we're doing 147 damage. Now I'd like to be, you know, at Nerd Rage Threshold right now to um, increase my damage from Adrenal Reaction and Nerd Rage and then have all of the unyielding bonuses, but probably don't need them we're killing them fast enough probably not to warrant that but you know keep in mind that if we do use those extra one or two shots on them and what in the goddamn is happening come on okay i've just paused my um cyberpunk downloads so we might get better performance now yeah i'm not running this on steam so it doesn't automatically shut off the um the downloads for that and it looks like when we've got good connection this thing can actually hit headshots Yes, terribly sorry about that inconvenience, but, you know, we, we like to test things under all scenarios, including downloading a different game. Sorry, Todd, I'm cheating on you. <laughs> Alright, we're about done here. There's one more Super Mutant to kill. Where are you, you blast? Oh, just that one. Alright, let's head inside. Okay, so this should be a pretty cruisy run against the Super Mutants, but so whilst I'm doing this, I'd like to clear a few things up because, you know, there's dickheads trying to start drama again, and I, I, I kind of got to stomp this out before it turns into a real thing because, you know, you, you at least got to respond to it, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, apparently I got called out for supposedly endorsing griefing when I'm supposed to be 100% against it. But whoever made that post is woefully misinformed, because here's the thing, I don't give a fuck about griefing in this game. Although I don't see the fun in it, I do think that PvP is a, um, a viable, a, a viable, a valid way to play this game. And if you enjoy it, fucking go ahead. If you enjoy griefing other players, go ahead. If you don't enjoy being griefed, it's really easy to not be griefed. Just exit the server and move on with your life. It's not that hard. 
So for people to say that I'm just this fucking white knight for fucking Reddit, saying that griefers should be shot on sight like I'm some sort of weird, you know, one of those British cops who would arrest you for you saying something bad. I don't know, I'm just pulling that one out of my ass, but yet yeah, I've got no problem with griefers in this game. Sure, if someone come and grief me on stream, that'd be bad, but what would I do? I just fucking move server. So I'd just like to point out that the griefers go fucking nuts. I don't actually care. The one thing I do have um, a problem with with other players in this game is them spreading misinformation. That's something that's a no-no, and I don't like that. And well, I did turn off my cyberpunk download, but we're still getting some bizarrely weird performance. And I'm on a a boat. <laughs> no, I'm on a private server, right? So this this performance should be really, really good and smooth, but it's not. It's choking and stuttering all the time, but I don't know why. It's no green stuff here. Well, yes, I'm not green. Also, there's actually plenty of green stuff out back if you have a look. Probably didn't need to code them to say that line here, or rather have some code to make sure they don't... Look, there's, there's right there. You just had to open a door, and there's plenty of green stuff. Anyways, back to the weapon. It's good. One thing that is holding it back right now is the amount of lag that I'm experiencing, which is really uh, staring my mood here, but I'm going to try to hold it together. For all of you folks at home, because we can't have 200% daily dose of salt now, can we? That's potentially dangerous. Now, to some extent, I do feel bad for the PvP community because they're... Um, from launch, they've had survival, lost it, got a proper you know, PvP game mode, and they all find it boring, and then through every goddamn patch, they're getting their ways of griefing removed systematically by Bethesda, and, you know, they can't help to feel that they're a little bit left out when there's so much shit that is, you know, catering to other people's way of playing, you know? And I can understand that, but you don't have to be fucking curmudgeoned about it. You know who you are, and I've got a special message for you too. I'd like a large um, quarter pounder meal, a double quarter pounder, and vanilla coke, thank you. <laughs> Moving on. So this thing in crowd control is decent enough. It's got a nippy reload, so if you do run into trouble, you know, you're pretty good. And if I, you know, shoot things up close, since I've got a dense chest piece, I don't have to worry about blowing myself up. So that's good. Any hits that I do take is just going to fuel extra adrenal reaction. So even better, right? And... Look at that, look at that god roll, look at that god roll spear, if it was anything other than mutants. Well, if mutants stacks multiplicatively, and it might still, right? Ooh, Jesus, I got killed there. Yeah, thanks for staggering me, asshole. They also just disappeared. See, we got a little bit careless there, but I'd like to think of that as just testing the waters here, just to see how much I can get in these ghouls' face before... I die, and I think for the, for the remainder of this video, I'm not going to bother going out of stealth. Unless I get punched in the face. Not once, but twice by a ghoul. I don't know why exactly I died so easily. I guess it's because I've got low defense stats, because I don't really care about armor. See, we're, we're built for sneaking here, not for you know, taking out things like that. And, you know, it's just... It's no brainer for a weapon like this, because it's more efficient to do it like that. And if the game requires me to grind seven hours to get the bullets back after I'm done here. There's no real reason not to run it as efficiently as possible. That's why I do it. If you're the type of player who thinks there's some sort of bravery and, uh, I don't know, maturitas, whatever the fuck you want to call it, into having a snake build, like you're a pussy if you're on a snake build, you're a fucking idiot. Go outside. Righto, so it's not actually night right now, so I'm not getting the, uh, big sneak attack critical benefits, but that shouldn't stop me too much, should it? Well, it will if the damage doesn't register. They need to take a look at these explosive weapons because they're... There's just something about them. I don't think I had this problem ever with, uh, with like, anything that fires regular bullets. It's just... I don't know... I get the feeling that there's something that is a little bit cooked here, and it's not just my internet, because it's working fine now. 
If I can download Cyberpunk at 5 megabytes a second, now you might be laughing at that, but that's pretty fucking quick in Australia land. <laughs> um, well, I don't expect the service to be performing this badly. And I, I did see uh, in of Survivalist reporting on how bad the server performance has been around this time of year. I don't know. Maybe, uh, strain from new players? No. Not on my server. The only person allowed on my server is me. Everyone can get out. See, with a dedicated, proper, like, PvP Rust mode, right? That would be better if they, you know, just borrowed a couple ideas from Rust and thought, yeah, that'll do. So, you know, you'd have weekly resets. You'd take your characters in, and maybe you could still gain XP, but, you know, the... Maybe you have to do something like Nuclear Winter where it wipes all your gear or something. And then you can only find what you find in the world. Or so they're very, very, very accurate with their Panic Fire uh, breath of Sonic Doom, these guys. That's okay, we can jump on top of this shed thing and just shoot them from above. That, that works pretty well. I'm still in danger from something. That one, would you believe? Yes, that'll do. We'll get old fat queen out and then we'll just blast her. Come on. Are you kidding me? An entire mag dump and it's all I got. It's a fucking sad day when even my handmaids are bugged. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there needs to be some fixes implemented here, I think, because this is ridiculous. I'm also getting the 3.5 times multipliers now. Could push that higher, but nah, we'll keep it. Righto, one last test, and I don't expect it to be perfect against Scorch Beasts. How we can barely manage to kill a regular old Scorch in one shot. Well, that one did. I don't know what the difference was there. I guess level, right? I don't know. Well, we'll just uh, sweep in here and we'll take out the Scorch Beast. Hopefully. Shut up, Discord. And interrupt me whilst I'm playing Fallout 76. I don't have anything like Tormentor, so we'll just have to deal with this as is. Ah, that's some nice stuff. You can see the occasional 40 from the actual you know, explosive damage. They're in the uh, white numbers there because all of the other numbers. Whoops. I accidentally inhaled that plant excrement. That's not good. But yeah, the, uh, all of the yellow. Uh, numbers there were proper headshots from the thing. And all of the, the the white numbers were the explosive damage. And you can use that to tell exactly how much explosive damage you're doing. And honestly, with the amount that we're getting... Okay, granted in crowd control situations, if it all winds up like that, it's good. I think I would still prefer fire rate, because I would have done that even quicker, you know? I've always, I've always preferred fire rate over explosive, especially since figured out that, you know, Scorch Beast just shrug off explosive damage because of, I don't know, mismanaged hitboxes, whether they're too big or too small, but yeah, I think the extra time to kill from a fire rate based weapon is good, and there goes my GPU again. Um, if I'm still recording, I'm sorry if this doesn't work out, but that's the explosive anti-armor handmade. Thank you very much for watching, guys.